Investigations unit tells CHCH that it's dealing with two crash sites in relation to today's deadly hit and run that killed a woman. The agency says Hamilton police were first called to a crash around 9 a.m. near the corner of King Street East and Gage Avenue South. The man behind the wheel of one of the cars involved in that crash fled on foot. But soon after, that same man somehow got behind the wheel of another car, this black pickup truck, and was involved in the second crash. At the corner of Maplewood and Balsam Avenues, a totaled white sedan was devastated by the truck, which came to a halt on the front lawn of a nearby house. Heather Jaggard and her partner were about to have breakfast before hearing the crash and then seeing the destruction. Once they ran to the sedan, Jaggard says it was a tragic sight. She was thrown in the vehicle. Um, she wasn't wearing a life um, a seatbelt. But yeah, my partner was in the car with her and tried to help her as best as we could. And you know, the fire trucks, I think it was about seven or eight minutes before they were able to arrive. But um, yeah, by the time they arrived, um, I believe she had already passed. Jaggard says the woman sustained severe injuries to her head and arms. Looking back, she realizes that she and her partner may have caught a glimpse of the suspect fleeing the scene. As we were running down the street, we saw a man running up. So at the time, we didn't really put two and two together, but clearly it was a hit and run situation. While the crash has a tragically unique circumstance, that hasn't stopped residents calling for improved safety on their streets. Spoke to a lot of residents in the neighborhood here, and they are saddened, but unfortunately not shocked that this fatal happened. They tell me they're very concerned about the intersection at Maplewood and Balsam, especially when the train crosses over Main Street. You can see behind me here at Balsam, no speed bumps whatsoever. And when we take a look at the crash site, it is only a two-way stop, not a four-way stop, and there are no speed bumps along Maplewood either. So unfortunately, people living here felt it was only a matter of time that something as sad as this would happen. City is getting ready to undergo a large scale review of traffic safety in three wards, three, eight and 14 this fall. A third party consultation firm will look at neighborhoods in each ward, particularly hot spots like Balsam and Maplewood, and determine what needs to be done in time for a spring 2022 implementation.